Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Life on Wheels 717. We're in the garage uh, this evening. We're putting uh, these wheels that I got for the R8, got them done. They turn out really, really sweet. As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see it there, but um, I'm going to lower that a little bit here. Show you guys. Let's see if we can get you guys. I'm gonna put them in the car. But uh, Boyd's uh, powder coater in the uh, Columbia, Pennsylvania, not too far from me. Pretty much uh, got them done for me. If you guys want to do any uh, powder coating, definitely go there. Hang on one second here. Yeah, I have to excuse this. This thing here. I just bought this uh, thing for my phone and uh, there you go. Anyway, as I was saying, the uh, rims are done. They're gonna go in the car. I'm gonna put them on, I'm gonna work on it right now. And then uh, later on, we're going to uh, take the car for a spin and do a video on it and see what you guys think. I definitely love the way they turned out. He, uh, like I said, he did an awesome job. And if you guys need any kind of powder coating, like I said, Boyd's uh, powder coating in Columbia, Pennsylvania. Great guy. Uh, Butch will take care of you and uh, you'll be very pleased with what he does. Uh, in fact, is he's gonna do two, two or three of my other cars that I wanna do the wheels. He's gonna take care of that. So, um, I guess we're going to get the stuff that I need here and uh, jack the car and start working on this and then take the car out for a ride. I can't wait until this weather gets really warm. I got all these toys and um, I want to start enjoying them and uh, definitely I can see you guys uh, when uh, we go to the uh, car shows. I plan on doing quite a few of the car shows, hopefully some fundraisers. Um, participate in some so hopefully I'll get to meet some of you guys and uh, talk and enjoy summer I just can't wait until summer anyway I guess I better get moving here and get this done This jack from uh, Harbor Freight. It's a lifesaver with uh, these kind of cars. Again, there's a lot of places that uh, will not even be able to lift this car up in the air just for the simple fact of uh, how low the car sits. I do realize that I'm going to have to buy a uh, torque wrench eventually if I keep doing this uh, that way I don't over torque the torque these uh, bolts so sometimes I don't even know my own strength so you can easily uh, mess up these uh, rims by overdoing it there's always one bolt that just doesn't want to cooperate. There you go.
initial first one that uh, can be a bugger. It's not much of a lip on there to hold it in place in order to be able to put the folds in. I should have just put it up here on my left. So. Like I was saying earlier, these tires are brand new. Uh, the rims, one of them is bent. Uh, that's the reason why I ended up getting these uh, other rims, original rims, and uh, had them powder coated and stuff like that. So, those rims are actually for sale in tires. So anybody that uh, wants a, uh, a set like this, I think you probably use a tire more than the rim, just because there is one that's bent. One of the front rims was bent on it. Um, I was gonna fix it, but I, I like the original ones better. So, uh, pretty much, uh, these are uh, 20s. So, and the tires are pretty much 245, 30s, 20s. And I think the bottom ones are dash 25. So they're, there you have it. Nice wheels. Love the way it turned out. We're gonna pull the, uh, R8 out uh, and show you the wheels. Got them on there. They look so cool. Um, let's see how this looks. All right, everybody. We put the wheels on the car. It's kind of dark. Um, well, I should say it's actually getting almost pitch black. You probably actually can't even see me very well. But anyway, uh, I had to work on these wheels and get them done. And uh, I lost most of the daylight here, as you can see. So. We'll pull it out and see if you guys can get a really good look at them. And I'm sure in other videos you'll get to see it. I'm just really excited about this. I was looking forward to it for a while now. So let's get this car out. guys guys there you have it sorry it's uh took me so long but getting the wheels in putting them on and uh, I had to work late so I know it's kind of dark so I apologize if you guys don't really get to see but there's more coming 
videos on this car. There's a couple things that I want to do to it yet. Um, there's something else I want to order for it that I just saw in a magazine. It looks really cool. It'll look really cool in this car. So, but definitely uh, the powder coated wheels. You can really glance. I think I can get it on this wheel here for you. I had to uh, it's so dark Let's see if this thing will even show here but I had to move all the BMWs out of the way in order to uh, get that out Well, there you have it, guys. Of course, there's the Supra. More info on that in the uh, near future. I'm still uh, drawing a plan here on uh, ordering the parts that I need and stuff like that. So, between saving money and uh, getting the uh, parts. It's gonna take a little bit of time. So, and of course, super motor in the corner here. Uh, yeah, the guy, excuse me. I was uh, answering somebody here that had a question for me. Um, anyway, like I said, I apologize. That dark. I was overly anxious to uh, see this car outside of the garage with the wheels. Um, I'm very, very happy with uh, Boyd's powder coating. Did an awesome job on the uh, wheels. So they're going to do about two of my other cars, and, uh, and it takes me a little while to get cars out of the garage because I got to move all this stuff around. So, all right, everybody. Again, sorry about that. The GoPro wasn't. Uh, stuck into the uh, side of the car there correctly and uh, fell off so yeah. all right everybody so there you have it the uh, R8 with the wheels like I said you I apologize for the dark uh, I had to work late and so I put the wheels on and uh, brought it outside and moved the BMWs around and got them out of the way to get the car out. They got dark on me. So I'm pretty sure you really didn't get a glimpse of it. Uh, but what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm going to put it in the garage in the, the other garage I have and uh, I'm gonna try to perfect this, you know what? Uh, I am going to uh, take a shot of that. I'm just gonna move it to the back and that way you guys can uh, get to see it a little better. I have a better view in the back, the back garage. So anyway, it's getting late here, so I better get moving. Um, if you subscribe to the channel, thanks for your support. And, and uh, if you have it and you like the content, uh, definitely subscribe. And uh, basically I will see you guys in the next uh, video. I'm gonna try to uh, bring you up the speed and more information on the Supra. I did order one or two things for it, so when they come in, I'll definitely be doing a video on that. Uh, the R8, there is another part I want to order for it. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. We've got too many little things going on. Uh, the Nissan 370, uh, when that gets ready, to be picked up. Obviously, we'll do a video on that. I'm super excited about that. I uh, can't wait to get that. So, again, thanks for your support. And uh, you guys have a good night. All right, everybody. I shot the video and it got dark on me. So I'll, I wanted you guys to see these wheels in the car. Personally, 
I think it looks awesome. I am so happy with it. That transformed that car. Without a doubt. A lot better than the uh, gray wheels. It's going to snow here in the next couple days, so this thing will sit here for now. And then, of course, I put this one inside. That one just got back from the body shop. So, all right, everybody. So, put the R8 back here. The wheels are in, they're done. Put them on. They got dark on me, so you guys got a video of it outside in the dark. I was just overly anxious to uh, get them on there. Took me a little longer, got to work late. So there you have it. I tried to get them done a lot earlier and take it for a ride, but was not successful. So I'm sure there'll be other videos on this car because there is other things that I want to do to it. So definitely keep an eye on the channel and the videos coming. I'm super excited this year, 2018, for the fact that uh, I'll be attending uh, some car shows and uh, Hopefully that way I get to meet some of you guys. And uh, I just want to say thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching my videos. Um, you can always shoot me an email. Um, that information is in there. And I'm going to pretty much give you an update uh, on the uh, Supra. That one, I'm just still ordering parts and saving some money. Summer's here. So I'm not sure if I want to tear that motor apart over the summer. I'd rather just drive the car and enjoy the car for now and just keep getting parts and building that motor up. And then when everything is set and done, um, I have all the intentions to have it done. Definitely uh, will be at Monorama next year, even though it just happened this year, just not too long ago. But anyway, I'm definitely going to be there next year for that. Um, and I know a couple of these cars will be there next year uh, if I buy another one. The 370Z, that is not done yet. So that'll definitely be a video. Uh, I'm definitely excited to see how that whole car uh, turns out. So that is definitely something that I'm very much looking forward to. So again, I apologize. Um, it got dark on me. I do work a full-time job, so sometimes uh, I would love to get eight more hours in the day just for the fact that I have so much stuff to do. But I really enjoy this because I just enjoy cars. I really do. Um, if I could afford it, I probably would sit there and mess with cars all day long every day because I just, I just like driving them and not as much working on them. But uh, this mod for the wheels and stuff, that was a very simple mod. So there is a couple other things that I want to get for it just to change it up. It is a fun car to drive. There'll be more videos.